Hello, welcome to Unnamed Podcast. I'm Jacob. He is. Uh, I'm Jordan. I'm Connor. I'm Zach. <coughs> Jesus Christ, and uh, you can tell this is the first time we've ever done this. Yeah. We're all sounding rather under the weather, except possibly Jordan. Yeah, this is rougher than a house. Yeah, no, we're all <laughs> battling this horrible sickness that's plaguing us. The uh, dreaded Vancouver summer cold that exists for some reason. Yeah. It's rather common. Hmm. I might say it's a common cold. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jordan, tell us about your fledgling rap career. <laughs> My uh, rap career would go about as well as uh, about uh, <laughs> like a water slide in the middle of a desert. It's, it's a poor decision. It's not happening. Didn't you have Tweaky Mixer? Weren't you on a couple a couple tracks back in the day? Uh, I was not. Um, I, I am rather white, so rapping doesn't come very natural to me. But uh, I, I, I guess if I really tried, I might be able to do it. Although I'm uh, not the most creative of the bunch. Oh, well, don't say that, Jordan. You're plenty creative. Just that, uh, like, you thought of something. You know what? Let's let's put this let's put this into action. Jordan, I'm gonna put on a beat. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, Jordan, throw on a beat. I'm gonna throw it on a beat. Let's we'll see, we'll see what you can do with this. <laughs> I can't hear it very well, um, or at all, really. I'm just uh, entirely honest. Something, something called spiders, goblins, mice, and a tiger. Something, something called spiders. Eat your kids, your wife can't hide them. Something, something tall, spider. Freaking around, web to die. Yeah, that's about all I got. <laughs> I got Did I catch uh, eat your kids, your wife can't hide them? In there? <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, you did. <laughs> trying to tell us something about your married life, Jordan? Uh, no, my ex wife doesn't really come around too much anymore. That's a joke that uh, that only Jordan has been able to pull off. I've tried it in a few situations, but it's never quite worked. The uh, my son and my ex-wife gimmick. The, the premise behind it is that you just, like, even though I've, I've never been married, I've never had a kid, you just fucking strong arm that into a conversation where it's applicable. <laughs> so I remember I was, I was doing inventory at the place that I currently work, which we'll leave unnamed for this point in time. And uh, we're going through, and uh, one guy would call out uh, the number of the part that I would hand him, and another guy would say if it's you know accepted or if it's rejected. Um, and so we're going through rejected, rejected, rejected. And I'd only been working with these guys for like a week, two weeks. They didn't know me very well. And so one time after he said rejected, I just went, oh, man, it's just like my son. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I'd never seen him. He sat there for about 10 seconds. And looked up and went, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just lost. Hindsight, it's uh, pretty <clears throat> good. So, how are you guys doing down in that hellhole known as Vancouver? Oh, it's not so bad. Although there is one thing that tends to bug me. What's that? Jordan? I was talking to Jake about this earlier and he understands my plight. Jordan, Zach... Car parking. <laughs> oh, Let me explain uh, the idiocy of car parking apps and the rank injustice of it all. <laughs> <laughs> now, for certain parkades in the city, you need to get, uh, you go up there and you can <coughs> park, right? all very uh, classic, but they also advertise their new app. And this app offers uh, knockoffs on the price which is all well and good for those who want the app. I, however, cannot stand the idea of downloading this app for them. And frankly, I think it's absolutely infuriating that they're going to charge me more for not using this app, wasting my battery, my data, and my time. Well, I mean, when they, when they show that it's cheaper on there, you can, they're kind of showing their hand a little bit. No. <laughs> Well, yeah, but um, that would be to their benefit, though, presumably because of ad revenue. Oh, 
I would, I would imagine. So they're probably making a killing off that. I mean, how many people in Vancouver drive and have to park somewhere? Fuck, if they think they can save a couple bucks, then on top of already making a killing off of the parking, then they got to add revenue on top of that? Like, holy shit. Unless they can take your credit card info and then just sell that off to the highest bidder. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's, the, that's the new style of economics, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you know, you could, you could do that. You could. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you do any of that? <laughs> I guess the simple answer is uh, money. Um, yeah, I don't really have that issue of parking. Um, or, or another a good way that you could actually avoid that fee is uh, walk. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't drive. Yeah, I don't know, but... <clears throat> so you live in a little town off in the dank, dark, impossible to get to, I might add, yeah. place known as the BC Interior. <laughs> that I do. We live in a thriving metropolis. <laughs> we are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> How are the fires up there? That's going to that's gonna help a lot with the parking situation. There's going to be lots of clear trees cleared out. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. in some yeah, parking yeah. lots. Add a few parking really lots. Yeah. Um, no, the fires are uh, they're getting better. Um, smoke's going away slowly. Uh, rain today, that was good. Um, haven't seen any water bomber choppers going over overhead lately, which is uh, that's a good sign. But uh, they're they're around, just hanging out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> as as the fire of, does. You say it like you know, like Methodists. <laughs> Helicopters and, and fire planes are just like among us, unannounced. <laughs> you trying to say something about methods? <laughs> among us, and if you they suggest, are, you suggesting are they, some sort of sinister infiltration? Nope. I mean, it wouldn't be that uh, that outlandish to think they'd be doing something like that. I bet the Mormons are. You know what? I bet you. I bet you it is pretty outlandish to think that. Uh, I'll admit. <laughs> <laughs> think that uh, you're a bit off off your chair there, or your proverbial rocker. No, Jordan, you're being ridiculous. Ah, yeah, what do I know? Mm. <laughs> what you drinking, so... buddy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, Golden Banquet, actually. Oh, <coughs> wish we had some mm. beers. We have Crown. In the stubby. Oh. Oh, oh God, we have the Crown. That's filthy. Zach, you mind, uh... Yeah, Zach, can you pour me? My little plastic tumbler is sitting sitting around somewhere. Tumbler, Zach. <laughs> Nothing screams. That's something we can talk luxury, about. Luxury, like, but tumbler? you know what? Tumbler. I'm actually sure. going to butt in there for this topic. Um, <laughs> fuck glass dishware. Plastic is the way of the future. Has been for a while now. I mean, glass has got that class, you know, and it's got a certain aesthetic to it that's really nice. But I'll be damned if I don't love being able to throw my cup across the room and not have to worry about it. You could do that. You could do that. But why? Why would you? Like, honestly, Jordan, not to, not to beat that meme to death, but why are you throwing your cups around the room? Go on. Go on. Go on. Uh, I, with me, it's usually a matter of clumsiness. They just eat shit and just... <laughs> 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 oh, that was cold. You know, knowing my luck, I'd throw it and hit one of the cats. That'd be all bad. Oh yeah, I always keep I keep forgetting you have cats now. Yeah, yeah. They were in my room earlier here, and they fucking tore up a bunch of cardboard. So, Jordan, Zach just dropped off the crown, which raises an interesting question for a house that has no coke. What do we oh. want to mix it with? Do you have any tags? I have soy milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's the worst answer there could have possibly been. Oh. Those have just been all right. Uh, well, let me think. Um, I crown in them, but you only had. Two you milk. guys live there. I'm putting my Zach's in. probably got chocolate milk. Oh. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, yeah. That wouldn't be better. Might be worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. It's soy milk is. Is evil. 
Soy you, milk works in quinoa. What do you think? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good drink. Uh, crown and quinoa. <laughs> No, on a bit of a side note, um, I, I actually I heard from a buddy of mine this really great recipe for kale, and so when you fry it, you put it with like an, uh, like a bunch of extra oil so that it makes it easier to like just scrape right into the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> You're not on a health kick, Jordan. <laughs> the only good way to eat kale, I think, is like when you fry the shit out of it into those little chips, or you yeah. bake them or whatever. I have never actually eaten kale. You're lucky. But Connor, these 10 superfoods will make or break your lifestyle. Well, my lifestyle's been broken for a while, so... <laughs> Doctors hate him. <laughs> I've, uh, I've been getting one of those Horse ads stores. lately, and it's just been... Kale. And it, it's everywhere. And it's just, take a look at Jean-Claude Van Damme's daughter now. <laughs> 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 Uh, is he still relevant? <laughs> was he ever relevant? First, of, his, I think he was. I don't know about his daughter though. What is oh, what is the purpose of <coughs> looking at her? What's the ad trying to get to do? I don't know. She's pretty swole, uh, <laughs> scantily clad clothing. I, I don't know. It's but, one of those sort of. I, I I honestly couldn't tell you. I can try and find it and click on it. They're, they're not even trying to advertise something. There's just one guy who really likes Jean Claude Van Damme's daughter. And he pays to have his things on ClickHole or wherever you see those. And that man's name? Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go and try and find that ad and I'm going to link it to you guys right now. And that action star's name? Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, have you ever seen any of his movies? Albert Einstein? No. <laughs> no, I haven't seen any of his, actually. Jean-Claude Van Damme has got one of the funniest voices on the planet. Blows my mind that the man was an actor. <laughs> He's, um, I know this from uh, another podcast where they brought this up, but um, one of one of his greatest lines was, uh, he gets confused with another man. You know, it's a it's your classic double spy movie situation, and uh, his lover is duped, and then he finds out about it. And he says. How, how how could you know that wasn't me? I would never wear black silk underwear. <laughs> <laughs> what he means is black silk underwear. <laughs> but he says it as one word. <laughs> black silk underwear. <laughs> what, there, you, what, what it was with the 80s and Eastern European tough guys. action star tough guys. That or would like not a, fly it's now. A bad guy it's, in isn't it just John Claude Van Damme and Arnold Schwarzenegger? It's still two. But I mean, nowadays, <laughs> I don't think you could get away with a character not speaking good English in an English movie. Like even in The Princess Bride, Fezzik, holy shit, He's hard Andre the Giant. Some of those lines were. He was just gargling. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that deep gargling voice gargles. too, and he's got yeah. that French accent, and you know. I'm going to kill you right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Yeah, every, pretty much every 80s and 90s action movie villain was exactly the same. Like Corporate man? Corp, either corporate man or terrorist corporate man. Like uh, the bad guy in Die Hard comes to mind. Um, Who said we were terrorists? Yeah, like him. All the, all the little henchmen always have an MP5. Every time. <laughs> Never failing. For those of our undoubtedly many listeners. <laughs> Jordan is something of a gun enthusiast. You can uh, say that. Our fan. That one is for you, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> and possibly Liam. <laughs> <laughs> one of the two. Our vast audience. Uh, a vast cross-section of white layabout teenage <laughs> <laughs> if this one even makes it through the fucking screening process oh we're already at 15 minutes that's tragic well let's recap quickly so far what, <laughs> what we've gone we over in this about? podcast so <clears throat> we've stuttered through the intro we've coughed a lot yeah. we uh went through uh what Jordan was drinking the weather um talked about car parking yeah mm. car park apps Riveting stuff. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude Van Damme, <laughs> yes. The height of relevance. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, I've got... 
I've got something that I'd like to talk about. All right. Whether we bring it up in a different episode because this one's garbage or not. This is something that strikes very close to home to me as I drive several vehicles on occasion, different heights. Why the fuck are drive through windows and ATMs never at the correct height that you need them to be? Okay, <laughs> I, I feel you there. They're also... You ever notice... This is a slight divergence from your topic, Jordan. You ever notice how they're kind of in, set into, a, into the wall, like they go in a bit? Mm-hmm. Makes it impossible to pull up next to the fucking things. Ooh, I always you, end you, up got, you gotta be Michael Jordan with the arm just to put your fucking card in. The Elastigirl end of Space Jam arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's well, uh, yeah, like you just you either a luck out because you're driving like the fucking GMC suburbia random fucking thing that that window is made for. Our advertising. In which case you're like a middle aged white <laughs> soccer mom, so it's not it's not me. I'm doing this. Or you have to take off your seatbelt and like go. Do some like last crusade ending like temple shit to get <laughs> this thing. You know, it's horrible. It's... At least with fast food, it makes sense because like it has to be convenient for the workers on the inside. It has to be person sized, unless you had like a dwarf <laughs> McDonald's. I'd go to that. Oh hell yeah, I would go to that. I don't know if there's that many dwarves in Vancouver though. <laughs> uh... Not I mean, you can just hire them. <coughs> They'd have I, to I import them. <laughs> like just very angry. Um, quite the mouth on them, but I, I didn't know one. Um, I don't think he'd want to work at McDonald's. I, I don't think many of them would. Let alone a dwarf specific McDonald's. <laughs> How would they do that? Would they just like build a regular McDonald's and put like a raised floor in, like an insert? I, I like to think they build a dwarf sized McDonald's. No, it's underneath the regular McDonald's. So there's the walk in <laughs> one that you have to take the stairs to get to. Oh, <laughs> there's the cool. undercarriage. That's going well. <laughs> For the drive. Just so that it's the right height for drive through. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, your car's lowered? Go see the dwarves. <laughs> Here's your meal. <laughs> that was pretty good, Joe. They don't even have they lights are. down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got dark vision, don't they? Yeah, according to uh, my PhD. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is it 120? Shit, I don't know. That's uh, 60. But that's besides the point. Let's not get into minutia. Jordan. Yeah. This is uh, last night we were sitting around having a few drinks with the boys. As you do. And uh, we were banding around the idea of this podcast and decided we'd try and come up with some conversation starters. One of them, uh, which Zach, I believe, asked ages ago while we were on the farm, and we've discussed this, but out of curiosity, what is the pettiest single thing you can think of that you would break up with someone over? Uh, um, the pettiest, eh? The smallest that's thing. You know, there's a, there's going to be a lot of petty reasons, but what is the pettiest? Um, ah, uh, man, I, I really... All right, can you guys give some like, examples here? Because I need to get my train of thought going here. Well, yeah, I, 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 was, I was just thinking of one now, um, and this is more for long term. Like, I don't think I could date someone for a long, long time with this problem, but if their dog didn't like me, if their pet didn't yeah. like me, you know, every time you go over there, you have to take shit from the terrier. I couldn't do that. Just boot him out of the I couldn't dog. do that. I mean... Hmm? You, you do have an affinity for dogs, so I can see how that's... I don't, I don't see it coming up. Yeah. Every, every dog likes me. However, if the cat was an asshole and I had to go over to her place, like, a couple times a week... Uh, that's just that's too much of a headache. I feel like you can manage with a cat though, because if it doesn't like you, it'll just fuck off. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, all right I think I got one. Right. Um, someone who's a very picky eater. Mm. Yep, couldn't do it. I like no, just fucking just eat it. Stop. <laughs> it's a carrot. <laughs> it's not gonna kill you. <laughs> carrot. Like, <laughs> like I, I understand <laughs> if like there's two things on this earth. That I don't enjoy eating. Okay. One, olives. 
yeah. uncultured, but go on. Just like I, in a drink, I can I can deal with it, like a martini or something. <coughs> but just like eating <coughs> olives, I saw Liam doing that once, and I was like, Ugh, can't do it. And then there's uh, just eating raw mushrooms. No, I do I that eat. all the time. Do you? Yeah, I pop the stem off, pour a little bit of hot sauce in it, like a cup, pop it in. You're fucking that, weird. <laughs> I, it's not. It's not the taste that bugs me. It's just kind of the texture. Like I can eat it, but it's just like, it's like I'm eating rubber. No, it's I'm, weird. I'm not fond of mushrooms. I'm on Jordan's side. Jordan, we wouldn't be a good couple. I'm something of a picky eater. I think you gotta cook them. Mushrooms, but also yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're I, a picky I love eater. Like, mushrooms cooked are great. You, you're like, a picky eater because you're allergic to half this entire planet. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do the list? I don't know if Jordan heard the list. You said it recently, so it should be fresh. Um, okay, so of the many things I'm allergic to, here are the ones I can currently remember. All nuts, save coconuts because they're not technically nuts. <laughs> Beans, peas, sesame seeds, legumes oh. of all types. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny, that's a list. Horses, cats, cotton, uh, cottonwood, pollen... Soy. Uh, soy. <laughs> uh, shellfish. shellfish. Certain types of regular fish. <laughs> um, <laughs> bananas to a lesser degree. <laughs> and I have been known to have trouble with tomatoes. <laughs> Holy crap, you're a crapple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this code you speak it, Jordan. <laughs> wow, wow that's... I didn't know you were so... Yeah, no, buddy. I've in got... danger all the time. <laughs> I've got a three in Constitution. How do you Ooh. even eat? Like, there's no way you can go to a restaurant and order something and feel 100% safe. Because, I mean, sesame oil, you know, all the uses of soy oh, wow. and legumes and ground up mashed spices use it sometimes a lot of them won't kill me that's true so that's you know typically manageable average night out i'll be i'll be coming out of there with a bit of a bit of a rough throat <laughs> <laughs> average night out unless it's to like a nice italian place or british food you know something you know where they don't well, put too much effort food, it. yeah. it's just like <laughs> <laughs> british food especially yeah. love me although the fish if they're not. Yeah. Some Dif- kinds. It's a difficult fish. life, but I bear it with uh, stoicism. With a broken back. Yeah. No, that's another. That's another story. <laughs> that I don't bear with stoicism. That I bitch constantly about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like every time you think that you're getting better, you get fucking hit by a car or something. Yeah, I have been into car accidents. So you've yeah. been in two? Yeah. That's probably gonna ratchet up. Oh yeah. It's exponentially more every year because I don't think you were in a car accident because uh, for those of you who don't know, for our many listeners, uh, me and Connor have known each other since we were probably six years old. I was uh, going into kindergarten. I was four. You were four in kindergarten? I was four. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I might be getting that wrong. I'm Pretty sure I'm not, because I'm born very late in the year. Yeah. So when I entered, I, I was still technically younger <coughs> by a year than you. Okay, but yeah. So four, five, four, four, five, some. six, something like that. Quite young, anyways. But uh, I don't even remember why I was saying that. Car accidents. Yeah, and I, I didn't. He wasn't in any car accidents for the majority of his life, and then 18, uh, 19, 20, you've hit. You've been in two now. Yeah. One on a lovely Irish road, the other ripping around at Lowe's, drunk off my ass. I wasn't driving. Was that, was, that was Ivan. Ivan, yes. That's right. Our good friend Ivan, man who oh, thinks, he's yeah. a, <laughs> thinks he's a pirate. Um, Is a pirate. Fucking correct. Yeah. Him. He's definitely making a trying attempt. But uh, <laughs> we were driving around uh, Low, a Lowe's parking lot. It might have been Jisk. But anyways, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, a just you know, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we were out at a casino with for a friend's birthday. Ivan had remained staunchly sober, and as we were walking out, <coughs> I realized I had not. 
<laughs> and uh, promptly crashed into a window <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the middle of the lobby, <laughs> alerting everyone to just how drunk I was. But we got in the car, and the plan was to go down to White Rock, a town near where we used to live, and uh, pop a few brews there. Ivan was particularly excited because now he'd get to drink, and he took off with appropriate zeal in the parking lot. However, smashed into a parked semi truck head on. <laughs> How do you manage that? He was going pretty fast. <laughs> good lad, Simon. Good lad, but uh, did that ever get sorted out as per insurance? By the way, yeah, no, he managed to uh, take care of it pretty well. The guy uh, in the semi truck wasn't wasn't too pissed off. I would have fucking been. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he was. You crashed into my parked truck. <laughs> my parked mean? truck. I was, I was sleeping in <laughs> and broke the radiator. If I can't get a bit of respite at the gist, where can I? <laughs> it's fucking gist. Shut your mouth. It was a Lowe's. It was a Lowe's. I remember now. That's so the most important this, detail. If you're talking about the line up by, uh, up in Fleetwood, they're they're right next to each other. It's the same thing. I know that's that's the difficulty. That's <laughs> the gist of it. The, <laughs> the yeast. The yeast. The yeast. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Is it actually yeast? <laughs> I have no it fucking clue. Yeah. <laughs> How did someone come up with that? It's got it's got to stand for something. Oh uh, no, it's probably like a Swedish word Swedish, or something. Yeah. Probably the guys walked into like the meeting and it's just like, what are we, uh, what are we gonna name the company? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, yes, good job. I had to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> but the man who sneezed was a Swede, so we can still trace it back. Yeah, yeah, probably. It's got a duck on the sign, right? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a goose, but it looks like a duck. Maybe that's the word for goose. Well, I can find that up. <laughs> <laughs> we have our producer doing some research over here. We're going to find out if Yisk is a duck or a goose in uh, some kind of Germanic or uh, Baltic. Baltic language. <laughs> yeah, you probably are because you're not on this dog shit Wi Fi. Top minds on this. <laughs> yeah, we've got all our crack science to find this. Leads. Oh, fuck, I found something with their pillows. <laughs> Uh, Danish retail chain. <coughs> the owner's name is Lars Larsen. Oh, yeah. The goose! It's a goose! Oh, well. oh, it's a goose, okay. It means goose or it is a goose? Yeah, it is a goose. Well, let's find out what the, Dan, um, what the yes Danish means. word for. By nature, our logo is, logo is angular and slightly masculine. The goose is used to counterbalance the masculinity, representing a softer and slightly <coughs> form. In addition, the goose has a historical thread to our brand and is a means to differentiate this from our competitors and other companies with angular box shaped logos. Well, as fascinating as that is, <laughs> I just searched up what yis meant in Danish, and I am beyond confused. What does it mean? Well, what? Jutland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, there was a battle at a place called Jutland, a naval encounter in World War One. the only significant naval encounter of that war. So I don't quite see what the, co co <laughs> the connection is between <laughs> that battle and uh, pleated sheets. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to take a quick break to give a word from our sponsors. And, uh, so this is uh, he here at the podcast. We're sponsored by Yisk, where you can find a full selection of furniture, mattresses, windows, home decor, storage, bedding, bath, and more. Hit them up for their fresh back to school sales. Find a Yisk location near you. All right, back to the show. Uh, and I'd like to make perfectly clear we are not sponsored by Yisk. That attitude, unless. Unless they'd like us yeah, to unless, be, unless, call, it, call us. unless they unless they want us to <laughs> not, to bring their name to our vast audience. It's not unreasonable. I mean, how many hip new podcasts are having long bits about <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs> well, not derogatory either. They are a good store. Oh yeah, it was like fifty percent of the show has been about yes. So far. <laughs> that's the way to do it, really. You know, I've been in there like twice. 
I don't think Honestly, I'm gonna I don't remember. like the rap about spiders again. Just looking it up to do that bit about the sponsor mm-hmm. is the most I know. I thought it was a hardware store, no. but it's yeah. like a Bed Bath and Beyond. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> no, I almost bought a bunk bed from there when I was uh, when I was a wee lad. Why do you need a bunk bed? You're an only child. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of fun. Maybe. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, never mind. Yeah. It's not a good story for the podcast, but. Uh, oh. <laughs> good story for later, I guess. Yisk is uh, basically just shitty Danish IKEA. <laughs> you guys ever seen that meme? Uh, only a fool would buy something from IKEA. I just download the uh, the instructions manual offline and email their services department for saying that I'm missing a single part. They eventually get every part necessary over a course of eight months. <laughs> it probably take you that long to put it together. <laughs> the fucking instructions, you crap. <laughs> uh, uh, I think this is the point where I'm going to have to uh, say goodbye, unfortunately, um, as I have to be up in too soon um what time is it see you guys have a good night thank you for having me all right see you later buddy it's been a pleasure sounds Sounds good good. see you later all righty so now that jordan is gone sounds like a good time to wrap up the show catch in catch us next week for another episode of Unnamed to be Announced podcast. We'll be far more professional. <laughs> probably not. Hopefully but... far less sick. And probably not for me. Hopefully somewhat more prepared. So yeah, I've been Jacob. I'm still Zach. And I'm your producer, Connor Burnham. <laughs> Good night. www slash Connorbrand <laughs> Alright. Signing off. Have a good night.